Hey everyone, welcome back. When we move in to the next principle of agroforestry, which is planting in abundance. This is definitely the favorite chapter of Gennaro here and I'm gonna let him take on the word. So, why plant in abundance? Yeah, I'm very excited about this, to, to, to share this with you guys. You know, uh, a lot of the times we, we buy a seedling and we buy like a mango seedling, for example, and, and we've chosen a spot for him. And we've paid 15 quid, we've paid 20 quid for him. And we said, you know, we've planted him, we've chosen the spot and said, now you gotta grow there, damn you, you gotta grow there because I paid for you to grow there. And uh, basically, uh, that's just one of the most ignorant things that we can do. Uh, sometimes we will be four or five years down the line, you know, feeding it and feeding it. And it, why isn't it not growing? And you're really forcing that to happen. And sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, well, basically, I've got news for you. It wasn't the place for him. So really what we need to do, we need to plant in density, high density. You want a mango, you want that, that, that God-given, blessed mango. I recommend you plant 10, 15, 20 mangoes to find that one mango you were looking for. And then in, in, in this case, you know, you've planted it in high density, you've given it the chance, all equal conditions, and uh, they're gonna show you who was the chosen one, who was in the right spot. And the chances that we would have uh, guessed that right spot for the mango, the chances that out of the 20 that you've planted, that if you were to plant one, to have that one, and we, and we were able to, to get it right where it belongs, uh, that's, that's practically, uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't count on it, I wouldn't bet on it. So how do we do this? Because economically we can't plant seedlings, um, you know, in high density because there's a price for that, you know, for each mango you're going to pay 15, 20 quid out here. So what do we do? We plant high density in seeds. We plant high density in seeds. If you think of now I need 10 mango seeds rather than 10 mango seedlings, you know, then economically we're able to plant in higher density at a very low cost. So I'm giving mango as an example, but there are many other types and this works throughout, you know. We, we plant with seeds in high density. We talk about 100 seeds for that one God-given blessed plant, you know. So even within each location, if you can, depending on the crop, maybe not, maybe it might not be the case for the mango, but other, other trees, you might even plant five, six, ten seeds of that same species here and in a meter from there, again. So then with, within this bunch of seeds, there will be a selection. And then between this selected one and with that selected one, you know, uh, we're gonna start finding out who was the chosen one. So uh, we've got examples of that everywhere around here. Behind us here, I have three avocados, you know, three avocados very close by. We've got a jaca, which is also uh, a tree that reaches the same height and stratification as the avocado. But I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know if this is the place for the jaca or for the avocado. Out of the three avocados, it's already shown me which one uh, is the chosen one. We have room for error. I might prune the, the, the other two smaller and then you know, further down the line, a couple of years from now, it's re-sprouted and it's telling me, no, you got it wrong. You know, it is me. You know, maybe, maybe we've got, you know, nature is so blessed that it will forgive us, you know. And, and the two that have, that have left, they have left with love, with unconditional love for the chosen one, his brother. So they're, they're happy to, to let it be that space and, you know, just to give back and help the, the, the chosen one. You know, and, and then, you know, we, this is repeated uh, every meter, you know, H how do you feel about that? Well, um, before continue, I'm going to give a vocabulary input here, because um, many of you might not understand what quid means. You might think that he's paying for mango trees with some sort of animal that's called quid, but quid means pound for those of you who are oh, outside yeah. of, of, of Britain, okay? Um, I thought that was important to put in because we don't want you to think that he's paying for trees with animals. Uh, okay. Um, so here's the thing. We're just following what nature does. Okay. An avocado tree produces hundreds and thousands of seeds each year. And out of these seeds, 
if it's back there in the wild, one of them are gonna turn back into an adult avocado. Many are gonna sprout, many are not gonna sprout, many are gonna die young, many are gonna die after two years, many are gonna die after five years, many are gonna go to, to adulthood, but one of them is gonna be the chosen, chosen one. one. And this is a simple genetic thing. Each seed is different genetically. So some plants have a genetic that will make them more adapted to this place. Some seeds have a genetic that are going to be more adapted to another place. Some seeds have a genetic that they grow faster. Some seeds have a genetic that they grow um, slower, but they branch out more and they produce more. Some have a genetic that they're going to have a, a better tasting fruit. So we have to take that into account. And I know you might be asking yourself if you're already some sort of an experienced gardener or, or um, farmer. Oh, but that's why we graft plants. I know, because you want to copy the genetic from a, a plant that has already proven a good genetic. And that's perfectly fine. We have nothing against that. But still your rootstock is not a chosen rootstock because the rootstock grows from from a seed and so we advocate um, planting seeds and if you want to graft graft on the place get graft in the side okay you come here and then you graft the best avocado that grew here because then you've got this perfect rootstock with a perfect root that was not damaged by growing mm -hmm. in a recipient and this makes a whole lot of difference okay? yeah you know, this, it's easy to compare. We encourage you to plant both ways. Plant from the seed and plant nearby a grafted, uh, let's say, avocado. We have examples here we're showing you now. We have avocados here, uh, two years old, grafted. And you know, here they are, two years later. That's it, that's how high they got. Uh, they're about a meter and a half. And I've got uh, avocado here planted in high density. And I'm not saying most, all of them, has, has reached three, four, five meters, but I know two or three of them has reached seven, eight meters. So I can't compare that one and a half meter avocado with that chosen seven, eight meter avocado tree, which is, which is going to be the chosen one. You know, the grafted ones were just really for experiment because I did what I recommend you do too. Uh, plant both and find out for yourselves the benefits of planting with seeds straight on the ground and how that how that reacts and how that responds. Oh yeah, but the genetics and we get it old and then we, we can harvest in two years. Listen, I don't wanna in two years from now harvest uh, a sick avocado, a sick mango, something that's not healthy. You know, once it was chosen to, to, to sprout here from the, from, from the seed, it's, it's sent out a clear message. I belong here. I'm happy here. I will be uh, healthy here and I will give you healthy, good, happy fruits here. So really, I'm happy to wait. I'm happy to wait an extra year or two. It's not even that much longer because you planted in so much high density that you've got that chosen one. You've got that booming mango. You really, it's, it's that shocking, surprising one that really is, is, is produced earlier than, than, uh, than what the books, what literature will tell you that they should be producing. So we're talking about an extra year or two. So then I can have a real harvest, you know, kilos and kilos of mango rather than Oh yeah, two years later I, I harvested my avocado, but it's one ill avocado. You know, I'm happy with, with letting, letting the, the seed selection and to have that healthy fruit down the line. For sure. And um, it's very interesting to see that by planting densely, we achieve other things as well. It's not just a, a matter of getting that right chosen one but also a matter that when they grow together they just grow better all of them will grow better than if they were planted alone so that chosen one is going to grow well because it had the other ones oh, yeah. around it to help it grow Support and those it. who are not chosen they have worked the soil they have produced organic matter they have fed microorganisms we we'll just have to look at the forest when you see any species sprouting on the forest floor is not only one ceiling you've got hundreds and hundreds of ceilings and that 
it has a physiological purpose on the forest because it really colonizes the whole place it's not that one tree lonely in a spot with a bare ground all around it no it's green everywhere it's also optimizing photosynthesis and you can see here the lush green that's here it's the trees are very very healthy it would be completely different if you had one lonely avocado tree or one lonely jackfruit tree it wouldn't be the same and of course that here and i'm gonna bring that concept of succession of species we've got trees from different succession stages okay so they're going to be substituting one another but also we've got trees from the same stage and which occupy the same layer and these are going to have to be chosen and that's the beauty of it that we you call it can the warm choose. competition yeah and you have the benefit of choosing and this is really brilliant because you know three years from now we can choose if we want a jackfruit or an avocado if they're both really beautiful i'm gonna choose in accordance to what i have already in my property or not or what's better for the market or not at that given time and that's the benefit of have uh, of being able to choose if you only have one you cannot choose you have that one and you have to make it survive at all costs you know what i wouldn't worry about the recommendations if i was you i'd go ahead and try you know they don't recommend that we plant coffee from the seed straight onto the bed but the coffee went in with a cocktail of seeds with a range of seeds and there were coffee seeds in the middle and here it is it's beautiful i bet you that this is going to be one of my most healthiest and prosperous and blessed coffee in the whole system so let us know if that works for you if that makes sense if you dig it um, question it and let's talk about it yeah thanks for watching and Sign out from the Agroforestry Academy crew. I hope crew. it was fruitful for you. Woo.